Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for everyone here. So it's not a reading for a specific sign. It is going to be a soulmate reading here. And we're going to channel the messages here. The messages and the energies of your soulmate here and see what and just see what he or she would like for you to know here. What messages perhaps the tarot wants to guide you to regarding your soulmate. Now, a soulmate, of course, as we all know, is a special person. They are someone whom you have this immediate connection with. And a lot of the times, you can't necessarily explain it. You do feel it. It's a connection so strong that you're just drawn to one another like insects to a flame. Or you keep coming back to one another. Despite being pulled apart, you come back together here. Um, as a connection he develops over time, it is a love that runs extremely deep strong it can be very complex um, that even at times you can begin to doubt a soulmate connection here so hopefully this is where the reading can come in and maybe can provide some insight or um, can validate some of your feelings emotions um, or hopefully give you you know shed some light and give you some guidance here regarding your soulmate okay so i am going to give the cards a shuffle here um, and before I begin, I just want to say that for those of you that are going, that are interested here in a personalized tarot reading with myself, I do offer those. So please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here in the show more section, along with all the information that you will need. Okay, so let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in for you here, guys. So who is your soulmate and what would they like you to know? Or what would the universe like for you to know about your soulmate here? The, uni the universe, divine source, spirit, the tarot guides here. Whatever title you would like to give it. Ooh, okay. The king of wands. So we did speak about that flame, that immediate connection, that immediate attraction to a soulmate. One that is... At best, unexplainable, but one that is certainly felt. Okay, the Page of Cups, but it's in reverse here. The Eight of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Two of Swords here, the Seven of Cups. Temperance and the Nine of Cups. Okay, just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to position so we can see the cards a little bit better here. I mean, I'm sure you're all familiar with the details, but it always helps to get a picture here. Okay. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, the message that I'm getting here from the Tarot Guides is that your soulmate and you are destined to end up together. Okay, I can see that there's been some, with the Three of Swords here that's shown up in the Tarot spread, I can see that there's been some conflict, some heartbreak, um, some emotional anguish here. I feel like for some of you who are watching this, um, the best way of describing it is this person might have come into your life and... Um, might have torn your heart into little pieces there might not have been that, that malicious motivation or malicious intent to do so but the ones that you love um you know the ones that you love and are connected to so deeply unfortunately have the power to hurt you here um no matter how much love he has been lost between the two of you no matter how much distance he has been trying to keep you apart whether it's the distance of geography time or whether the two of you just believe that you're better um, you're better here um, as individuals here a lot of uh, the message that I'm getting is with this particular soulmate you have lost each other here only to find each other again or you will in the future here you will lose each other only to find each other again I mean this person here is this is someone who looks up into the night sky and who wishes who has wished or who's wishing for someone just like you for some 
for some some of you that are watching this, your soulmate here, you and your soulmate haven't crossed paths, not just yet, okay? Um, and that's things here are unfolding. They may not be unfolding here according to your timeline here. They are unfolding here to the universe's timeline. So just because you haven't crossed paths yet here doesn't mean that, you know, this meeting isn't yet destined for you. It is going to happen here. Um, and you will know who this person is. Um, no, there won't be like a, you know, there won't be a, a sign uh, written across their forehead, but you will know because of the the depth of the emotions that this person will get you to experience here. Okay, and for a lot of you, I'm also getting that this is someone who, for those of you that are in a connection with your soulmate right now, if they leave you, which for some of you is what I'm seeing here, um, they might leave you, but they will return to stay with you here forever. Okay, because I'm getting that the universe here, especially with temperance here, the universe will find a way to bring the two of you back together here even if it seems all hope is lost um or you may feel like you know the two of you keep finding each other here okay um, i'm getting the notion that across time across space across the different paths that might take you you know you might um you might end up different paths here but i'm the message I'm getting for you is that you and your soulmate will always find a way here. You'll always find a way back to each other's arms. Um, and to me, I'm, I'm getting that this is the, the universe here, guiding the two of you back together. Some of you may be feeling frightened here about what comes next. Don't. Embrace the uncertainty because this is meant for you here. Okay? Allow... Wherever it is that you need to go, allow it to take you there. Okay? Um, trust in the universe. Trust in your soulmate here. Trust that the two of you are meant to be together here. Okay? For some of you, I'm seeing that this soulmate connection, um, for those of you that have not met your soulmate here, I feel like the year in which you will meet your soulmate, which is likely to be this year perhaps, um, your life will, will really change. Your life will really change here, almost in an instant upon meeting them. And you will know it is a soulmate here because you will feel him or her. You will feel the energy here. Um, you will feel these subtle shifts that keep that will take place all around you here. Trust the process here. Um, and for those of you that I did mention, like with your soulmate here, you have come apart only to keep coming back together. You are destined for one another here. Okay, you are destined. Trust the process. Know that life or the universe here is never going to take anything from you unless there is something else that's waiting in its replacement here or unless, you know, this person here is meant to come back into your life. This person has hurt you here, okay? This is someone who I feel like has hurt you. There may have been um, a third party involvement here that might have disrupted the flow of your connection here, um, the fluidity of your connection here. But this person wants to I feel like this person wants to come back into your life. This person wants to come back into your life and they want you to know here. Okay? They want you... I'm getting the message that this person wants you to wait for them. So this applies for those of you who haven't met your soulmate yet. Okay? Don't doubt the process. Don't doubt faith. Don't doubt love here. It is meant for you and it is coming to you. Just because it's not happening in your timeline, it doesn't mean it's not happening for you at all. It is. It's happening and unfolding um, according to the universe's or divine source's timeline here. So be patient for those of you that are expecting to meet a soulmate. He or she is coming for you and it is closer than you might anticipate here. For others of you, for those of you that have left a soulmate here, um, or you've, you know, you've went separate directions and separate paths, your soulmate here wants to come back. They want to come back into your life. Um, they're hurting here, and this person wants you to know that you are their wish come true. 
you are the one person who is unlike anyone else that they've ever met in their life. This person could talk to you for hours and hours, and even if it's about nothing, and never get bored. Um, or they can sit with you there in awkward silence, and they don't feel that sense of awkwardness at all. Um, you could tell them things over and over again, and you know they wouldn't judge you, or you wouldn't judge them here. That you're, you are their best friend. They are your best friend here. They regret. Their biggest regret here and it's really heavy guys their biggest regret is that they let you go or that you let them go but they do have every intention deep in their heart even if it's against all odds even if it's seeming very unlikely for a lot of you you know in their heart here they know that they hurt you and if they could they would do anything to take it back here because they didn't prioritize you they didn't prioritize love here um, their biggest regret is that they let you go here. They're wishing that they could undo this. Undo the hurt here. You are their favorite chapter that they keep reading, rereading over and over again. A lot of the times here, they keep looking past, they keep looking through your, um, like the old photos. And they keep reliving in their minds the face of, the outline of your face, the shape of your eyes, that, you know, that in... That's that stare, the way that you know you're, you, that lingering stare I'm getting that the two of you would share between one another here. This is etched; it's printed into their mind, into their memory here. This is someone who keeps. I feel like they're reliving a, a memory over and over again, and it, to me, it's like they want to recreate what you once had. Okay, there, there might not be any communication now. There might be any um, no contact now. Part of that reason is because someone here is not ready to express the their emotions here. Someone is, isn't ready to fully open up their heart, not just yet. So much of life is about timing and something about the time. Something about, I don't know if it's you, if you're watching this. There's something about you that feels like it's not ready. Or perhaps this is your soulmate's energy, something about their energy that feels like it's not ready. There is a fire here that burns brightly between the two of you, okay? There is a fire that burns brightly. And what keeps um, nurturing this fire here is the memories, is that emotional thread that connects you together. Even if you're apart, I feel like if you take away anything from this reading, um, even if you're apart, this person still feels you so near. It's such an intense connection, which is how you know it's a soulmate, okay? There's evidence of this that, that have shown up here in your life. It's this meeting of two hearts and two minds that have come together here. The energy perfectly complements yours. Soulmates will always end up together. Okay, so even if it doesn't seem very likely for some of you, even if you feel like there is something key that's wedged this distance between the two of you, whether it's a third party involvement or a third party type of situation, or whether it's distance or geography or timing or this lack of readiness here, you will come back together when it's time to do so, when when the timing feels right, when the both of you are ready, when the both of you are ready to fully dive into the depths of this connection and explore it for all that it can be here. All right, guys, and that is your soulmate reading. So I really do hope that this reading was helpful in some way or another to you. Um, if you are interested in a personalized tarot reading, perhaps even a personalized soulmate reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, I do share, um, I am sharing with you more uh, weekly love tarot readings and also daily ones. So do feel free to stay tuned and check those out on my channel. Thank you guys again for your time and attention. It is greatly appreciated. Um, bye for now.